Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across this globe that's uh, laboring and pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Okay, um, it's the brother Yah Rock, Jim Miss Houston. You know, I just wanted to do a quick lesson. Lord willing, it'll be edifying. But um, it's basically, man, going into measuring the times and, you know, staying on our watch, man, as we ought to be, all right? And, you know, this is uh, gears toward all right, uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, who are, the, uh, you know, the nation of Israel, man, all right? The Lord's people, okay? The only ones uh, with a chance of receiving salvation, man, okay? So uh, with that said, I'm going to just go here to uh, Luke 21, and I'm going to start at 29. And these are the words of our Lord, um, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which his real name is Jehovah Shah, all right, the Lord, uh, the Savior unto Israel, okay? So this is Luke 21 and 29. It says, and he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand so likewise ye when ye shall when ye see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of the most high is nigh at hand all right so right going into measuring the times man all right and when the lord said when ye shall see these things uh come to pass you know, he's speaking about these prophecies, man. All right. The uh, uproars of the people. Okay. Uh, you know, famines in the land, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And various other, uh, you know, things that's written in these scriptures, man. Prophecies, you know. Um, hey, uh, seeing how this devil is transitioning to that uh, mark of the beast, man. All right, slowly but surely, man, okay? We're getting closer to that, you know, which that and that's a major prophecy, man, okay? But we're seeing the way, you know, how that whole transition is happening before our eyes, man, all right? Where this devil is going to do away with uh, this paper currency and transition everything to all digital, all right? And ultimately, uh, you know, the RFID chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast, okay? So uh, going back, it says, so, like, so likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is not at hand, okay? Verily I say unto you, uh, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled, okay? Um, I'm going to jump here to 2 uh, Ezra 9 real quick. 2 uh, Ezra 9, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? So, right, going back into measuring the times, all right, this is not a, you know, a time for us to just be, you know, oblivious to what the hell is going on, man, you know, or just being in a at ease uh, state, you know, a carefree state of mind, so to speak, okay? You see what I'm saying? Um, it says, therefore, this is verse 3, 2 Ezra 9 and 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars of the people in the world, all right, which all of these things is happening, all right, uh, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of these, of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. 
okay so right we're coming towards the end of what the end of this current age all right or this end the end of this uh kingdom all right the end of the uh rule of the wicked man okay and who is the wicked esau edom man the so-called white man okay so we are in that you know time of this place coming towards an end man okay so uh Right, it said, for like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Okay. So jumping back here to Luke twenty one um and thirty three. All right. Luke 21 and 33, it says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you on the wells. Okay? So, right. You know, we shouldn't be caught up in the ways of this world, man. You know? Um... You know what I'm saying? Take heed to the uh, to uh what's going on, man. All right, the prophecies that we are supposed to be measuring the times by. All right, staying on our watch. Okay. A lot of our people, man, they want to, you know what I'm saying, just be in a uh spirit of mirth, you know, just want to you know what I'm saying, wild out, turn up, you know what I'm saying? All right. But hey, man, the Lord's giving us giving us warning man you know what i'm saying uh giving us the blueprint so to speak all right giving us the uh things we ought to be watching for to let us know the times that we're in man okay um luke 21 and uh 34 and take heed to yourselves lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that they come upon you on the wares, all right? So yeah, man, if your, you know what I'm saying, my frame is, is is all about trying to establish something here in Babylon, man, or hold on to what you have, you know what I'm saying? If that's more of a priority to, unto you, then that day is gonna uh, come upon you on the wares, man, all right? That day of judgment, all right? The day will, when the Lord returns, man, okay? You see what I'm saying? Um, for as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the earth. I'm going to read that again. It says, For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye, therefore, and pray always that ye may be able, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Uh, things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man all right you know because there's going to be a uh, you know a time of jacob's trouble man you know a, a very horrible uh time man okay you see there's going to be uh you know pestilence plagues you know famines okay uh our adversary coming in as a flood man all right Hauling people out to the concentration camps, man. Putting people to death, man. All right? It's going to be uh, all hell breaking loose out here, man. You know? See, everything we've seen up until to now is, 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 is only a light thing, man. All right? You see what I'm saying? But uh, going back to the scriptures, man, it says, uh, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape. All these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right? So, this is what we ought to be doing, man. All right? Once again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? Uh, you know, Israel, man. Okay? We ought to be watching and praying, man, until you howl about you, I was shot. Okay? In hopes of that we'll be a part of that number that 
um, escapes those trials, man, those those plagues, man, all right, in hopes of receiving that salvation, man, okay? There's nothing in this, in, you know, in this world <laughs> that's worth more than uh, doing that, man, all right? There's nothing worth more than yourself, you know, fight for your salvation, man, okay? You see what I'm saying? And if if you believe so, then, hey, your judgment is going to be death and destruction, man. Simple as that. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, as we know, not all of Israel all right, is going to uh, receive salvation on this side, man. Okay. Only an elect uh, few, man. Okay. But we ought to be uh, fighting and doing, uh, you know, things. You know what I'm saying? The hopes of being a part of that election, man. Being a part of those, you know, that uh, will receive that salvation, man. That, that'll escape those uh, plagues, man. Okay? That'll be worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right? So uh, that was pretty much it, you know. Just wanted to go straight to the point. Um, so once again, um, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.